years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, it's the Ramble. I'm Alex Bennett and we go until midnight tonight for the most infected city in the world. start every night with our COVID uh, update. Yes. Hi. How are you? Uh, by the way, if my lighting is a little off tonight, it probably will continue to be off because that light over there isn't working. So I had to, I had to do some changes. Uh, I, I don't want to have to explain. Again, you know, nobody wants to know uh, how the uh, cow is uh, killed. They just want to know how good the steak is. And, um, but anyway, I, you know, it uh, looks okay. Actually, it doesn't look bad, but the light is only coming from there. There's another semi-light coming from here, and I've got to call the company tomorrow and complain, and during coronavirus time, you can't get anything done because nobody wants to have anything to do with you, right? So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll call them tomorrow and see what the story is, why we have a, a problem. Uh, but it was like... Uh, I, you know, I'm so tired of having to put out fires technically around here, but I'll, I'll get to that in a second. I just, you know, I'm so tired of putting out fires. Um, it's that these lights don't work with a certain Wi-Fi on a certain megahertz. I only work on 2.5, not 5.0, but then I upgraded to a system whereby it should search out the signal it needs and then use that one, but it wasn't doing it, and I was losing the signal because the signal was coming from another room. and the, 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 You don't want to know any of that. But I finally got, uh, got it back to where it was, so this light will work just fine, but this one won't, uh, won't pair. I don't know what happened, so I got to call them. I want my money back. That's what I want. And then I, want, I thought, maybe, well, I'd order a new one or a second one like the one I have over here, which always works. And uh, nah, they're all out of them. They're not available. You can't get anything these days because of the whole coronavirus thing. Damn the coronavirus. Damn it, damn it, damn it all to hell. Look at it. Oh, that isn't what I wanted. I... I, I Put this on so the screen would come up. See, every night I, you know something, I may stop doing this. You know, it's just driving. It's just too much work. Too much work. Okay, let's look at the, uh, at the map. Total confirmed in the world now at uh, five million two hundred ten thousand sixty-five. There's some interesting news though in all of this. Global deaths three hundred thirty-eight thousand one hundred and forty-two. I wonder if we're going to top out at somewhere like 500,000 worldwide uh, because there are some changes in our, in our thing today. Here's the United States. Okay, now we're always going to be on top, all right? 
because we are, if you take the next, uh, we're, we're at uh, 1,600,782, 1, right? You take this, Brazil, Russia, United Kingdom, Spain, and maybe even Italy, and they just about amount to what we've got up here as a total. The deaths in the United States were almost hitting 96,000. And uh, I think uh, we're gonna we're gonna hit, we're, we're not gonna hit a hundred thousand this week, but we will next week for sure. Uh, although New York is not holding up its end of the bargain, because here in New York uh, we uh, are only we only had 105 deaths yesterday. It doesn't seem to budge. It seems to be like 102, 105, 105, 102, but. The amount of uh, hospitalizations have gone down dramatically, and all the numbers are back about where they began when we started following this whole trend. So I'm, I believe that the deaths will start diminishing once the, the, the time catches up to them. You get it? Because, uh, say, 14 days ago, maybe three weeks ago, we put people in intubation. They do intubation for more than about 20 days, and you can pretty well count them as being dead. And so you keep them on for another two weeks, and then you, you pull it. You just say, that's it. He's not, the person's not going to survive. So once those go, we're going to see that number go even lower. Meanwhile, we're starting, starting to see a lot of states start to surge upward. Um, uh, some states uh, less than others. Uh, Wisconsin, for instance, uh, our, our good f uh, friend Patrick Blazik lives in Wisconsin. And in Wisconsin, they, I don't think, have had a single death in the last couple of days or a new case. Now, why that is, I have no idea. But, you know, good for you, Wisconsin. But on the other hand, you have places like Philadelphia. You have places like, um, I think, Georgia is starting to pick up. Um, and I just think that with all this, uh, you know, I see, here's what I saw, you know, is that, um, uh, first of all, let me just put my picture back on here for a second, okay. Um, wh what I saw today that uh, really bothered me was they were doing a report from the Jersey Shore, and New Jersey has loosened up their requirements and said, you can go to the beach, all right, you can go to the beach. And um, so they had a reporter standing there on the boardwalk. And people are walking by. And none of them have masks on. Now, our governor, whether you like him or you don't like him, you know, he did say today that one thing is true, that we found that the people with the least amount of infection, the, the, the group, are hospital workers, firemen, uh, uh, policemen, uh, people like that, people who work in nursing homes. You would have thought they would have been the highest group and that all the others would fall behind. But oddly enough, the people who are coming down with it the most are people who stayed at home. Or maybe they didn't stay at home. They went out for a, for a short time and then they came back. And they became infected, but they were asymptomatic and the other people in the house didn't know they were asymptomatic and eventually they all got it. So that, that's, that's, that's part of the game that's being played here. Oh boy, my stomach's bothering me today. I shouldn't have had chicken skin yesterday. Marjorie warned me about it. Anyway, so uh, uh, you know, um, uh, so he, what he was saying is the difference between why they don't get it and a lot of other people do, it's very simple. Masks. They wear masks. She said, wear a mask. He said, listen, it's, you know, it's the simplest thing you can do. It's almost a fashion statement these days. Uh, but there are a lot of people who just don't want to, oh, I don't want to wear it. Uh, and, of course, they're following their president who goes, I don't want to wear one. It makes me look bad. You know something? A mask might make you look better, Donald. You, have you looked at yourself lately, you fat fuck? Anyway, back to the map. There we go. Now I want to show you something. This is, this is really interesting. We've always been on top. Ever, ever, it, not always. There, there was a time when Italy and Spain 
were at the top of the list. But we, you know, we're Americans. We can do it better than anybody else, right? So look, look where Italy is now. Look where Spain is. Now look right here. See that? See that? Now there's a player we haven't had till the last couple of days, and it's because Brazil has become, I say uh, New York City, the most infected city in the world, and I say that as a joke, but if I was to say, what's the most infected city in the world, I'd say it was probably Buenos Aires, and that's uh, why Brazil has the problem. They have the favelas down there, which are these uh, ramshackle uh, cities that the poor live in, they live sometimes five, six, seven to a room, okay? Uh, they're incredibly poor. Uh, and this is a disease that does attack the poor uh, because of the conditions that the poor live in. And uh, Brazil has all of a sudden gone bananas. And why? One of the reasons is their president down there uh, just said, oh, it's no worse than uh, the normal flu. Uh, we're not going to ruin our economy. You got to go back to work. You know we can't put up with this. And uh, sound familiar? Yeah. So uh, you've got uh, the problem there with uh, with Brazil. Uh, they are now uh, number two, uh, and they have three hundred and thirty thousand eight hundred and ninety cases. Uh, uh, and they are uh, in deaths. They've got 21,048. That's not great, you know. I mean, we're, uh, we're uh, about five times that, maybe less than five times that, but their, their, their amount of cases are not... They, but let's put it this way. They've got a bad number up there, and it's not getting any better. You can watch for that to really explode. They say they're getting, are you ready for this? It's uh, difficult to even comprehend. 10,000, 10,000 new cases a day. Think of what that's doing to their health system. Russia has been having a problem too. Russia has been going up. They're up to 3,000, well, 3,249 deaths with 3,200, uh, with 3, 326,448 uh, people. That's about 10% of the people who got it. Is it? Is, am I reading this right? Maybe. Is it 1%? No, it's, it's 1%. Is it 1%? Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm very bad at math. You go figure it out. United Kingdom following behind. Uh, they had 36,000 deaths. Spain, 28,000. Italy, uh, 32,000. Uh, but right up here, Brazil, boy, watch that one. That's going to get really bad. And the U.S. is not any better, and it looks like I think there's a good shot that we're going to be uh, having a, a, another wave of this. And the president says, I don't care about another wave. Uh, I'm not closing down anything next time. Boy, do I feel in good hands with Allsafe, Allstate. Uh, boy, uh, I, I, it, it just bothers me. It bothers me, that kind of thinking. When we put our economy ahead of human lives, right? Not, not good. Not terrific. Anyway, uh, you know what I didn't take before I came on tonight? Do I have any here? I, I, uh, usually I take uh, some, oh, uh, I don't have them. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have, is this it? Is this the pill I'm looking for? Is this a pill I could use? Um, let me see here. I'm looking for, um, um, uh, because it, then I have to like uh, pee. Let me see here. It always says on a pill that it says a number. And this one says, um, what does it say? 60, uh, let's see, G, 66, I don't know. Well, I, I know what I'll do. Hold on a moment. You're going to see another room here. I'm just going to go get some uh, uh, ibuprofen. There's a reason for that. I'll tell you. I should have taken this before I went on the air, but I didn't. Um, 
Uh, these are ibuprofens. These are 200s, and I take about 600 um, as a dose. And the reason I take it mm -hmm. is it prevents me with this prostate thing without uh, having to not feel like I have to pee all the time. So now let me put these. I save these for later. Okay. All right. I'm sorry about that, folks, but I should have done that before I came on. You know, the lighting actually looks pretty good even with just one light there, you know? So uh, I hope it looks good to you out there as well. Uh, anyway, it, it, all I'm saying is is that we're, I, I, I think we're asking for trouble, okay? And I think uh, it's gonna, it, we're going to start seeing an uptick in this country, and we're going to see a president who isn't going to be willing to do anything because he's more concerned. You see, he's more concerned with winning an election than he is with uh, keeping people safe. And I don't feel that good about that. I think he should say, I don't care about winning an election. I got to take care of these people. These people are, need me. They need guidance. They need somebody. Who, but everything he does, I mean, today he, um, he said, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, the churches. Are, are, I'm letting the churches open. And any state that doesn't want to do it, they're going to have to deal with me because I'll overrule it. Well, uh, undoubtedly, he hasn't read the Constitution. He can't overrule a governor. A governor is the master of his domain. And if he feels that churches shouldn't open, he says, you know, we let bars open and we let, uh, we let uh, uh, drug uh, places open and so on and so forth, but we don't let churches open? Well, of course not. The reason is is that when you go to uh, uh, any of these other places, like a liquor store, there's a line to get in, and they only let so many people in at a time, and they're not congregating and talking to each other and dealing with each other. When you go to a church, everybody's together sitting next to each other. They're all touching the same hymnals. Um, uh, there is a, 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 a closer a kind of contact that they have with the other people who go to that church. And so there is a definite difference between that, you moron, and what goes on uh, in, uh, uh, you know, what goes, uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? It, with what goes on in a, uh, in a church is different than what goes on in a liquor store, you know? You don't have people sticking around and hanging out with each other. They're not all touching the same bottles, you know? It's, uh, and uh, I, you know, well, it's just my feeling about organized religion, so I won't get into that. But barring that, yes, Donald, there is a big difference, and how dare you say that there isn't, okay? Let me, um, let me do this. Well, this light, one light is bright. Why is it two lights don't seem as bright to me as one light? Uh, of course, I have this light turned up a little brighter than I would normally have a light because I'm using only one light. But it's also, it's not that, uh, it's not that far up, you know. Yeah, well, what the hell. You know, I'll, I'll live with it. I'll live with it, okay? Let me see here. Where are we? Let me see here. How are we doing out there? Are we getting a good signal out there tonight? I was afraid we weren't going to get one out there. Uh, but, uh, but we are. And uh, let me see here. Oh, there we go. There we go. And, and the picture looks good. Yeah, picture looks terrific. All right, all right. Let me see here. Let me open it up, up the uh, Skype lines. Uh, oh, boy. I'm just a mess today. In the last couple of days, I've just been a mess. I don't know why. But Whoops. Oops. Well, here comes Brian Neary. Brian's the first one out of the, out of the, out of the gate. Uh, but we're going to put him in the second spot because that's where he was last night. So, you know. Boo. Boo. <laughs> How you doing, Ryan? Very good. How are you? Yeah. Singing. Singing at the church. Singing at the church. Just everyone's singing their, their choir. Yeah. Everybody's going to be singing all on top of each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. And they're, they're going to be, uh, um, let me see here. They're going to be... Uh, uh, spewing out spit, won't they? Yes, that's like the worst thing you could be doing. Yeah, let me see here. Let me um, 
Uh, get uh, uh, Charlene in here. Let me see here. I think that's hers. Okay, because she never puts her name in there, so I never get to see who's who's there. Number three spot, Charlie Wallace. There we go. There goes Charlie. Boom, boom. Yes, there we go. Okay, now here comes uh, here comes uh, uh, Jeff. Um, so let me see here. Where are we, where are we gonna? Where is Jeff? Uh, Jeff was in there last night too. Yeah. But unfortunately, I, I, I can't, well, I can I, I know what I could do. Eh. Let me see here. Uh, because you see, if I do this, I've got, I've got two uh, Charlies. So I need one more person calling so I can change that Charlie over there. But I can do this, I can do this and just- That's where I was last night. Yeah, that, I know that's where you were last night. Well, let me see here. Mm, transition. There we go. He disappears. Okay. So now when somebody calls, I'll put him in there. Hey, well, here comes Josh Wheeler. So I'll put Josh in that fourth spot. And uh, let me see here. Wheeler, Wheeler, Wheeler. Uh, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let me see here. Wheeler. Josh. Wheeler. Oh, there he is, Josh W. 42. Okay, and here comes Kevin, and uh, we'll uh, we'll put him in uh, the, the. Let's see here, number four spot. Hold on a second. Oh boy, this is number four spot. Okay, wait a minute. Number four spot. We got to put in, um, put in, um, scuba diver. There we go, Phil. All right, okay, and uh, I can do this. There we go. All right, that looks all all nice and pretty. Okay. Right, Kevin's on vacation. Huh? Yeah. Right. Oh, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. Kevin. Out. Kevin, I gotta get I gotta go get Kevin here. Hold on a second. Wait a minute, because Kevin is on vacation. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's on right. the beach somewhere. Yeah. Huh? He's... Right. He's on the beach. Uh, um, let me see here. Why is what, what is um, oh I see okay 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 that's <laughs> fine yeah yeah we got uh, we you were in the same place you were last night oh you're at the beach and you're not wearing a mask <laughs> how do you do that <laughs> you know where that is huh that's on highway 152 yeah in Central Valley <laughs> oh, oh really okay cool cool nice picture mm-hmm yeah now my, is it my, does my lighting look okay yeah. Looks good. Yep. Looks good. Looks good. Looks fine. Okay. okay. Because it's only coming from one side. I can't. This light, I'm having problems with. I can't repair it for some reason. So, so I'm a, I'm afraid I don't look as gorgeous as I normally look. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, how about Brazil, huh? Vous parler Brazil. Huh? Do you speak Portuguese? In Portuguese, in Portuguese. Yeah. yeah. I used to um, I used to um, introduce a show called the um, Portuguese Voice of Marin, and uh, I didn't speak Portuguese, but this guy Agnello Clementino, who was the host of the show and did the whole show in Portuguese, right, gave me an introduction to read, and it, it was uh, I don't know something something Boletard Agnel. And he would then go, and he would go for like a half hour, and oh. I didn't understand a word of what he was saying. He could have been saying every curse word in Portuguese that we ever knew, but, you know, couldn't tell. Couldn't tell. So, anyway. Uh, and then uh, he did do one thing that was wonderful. He used to have a, t what he called, put on a two-finger fi uh, two record. And what that meant is, he, either that or, or I think the two fingers meant cut my mic. And then he would cough like crazy because he was a smoker. And then he would give me the sign to bring it back. <clears throat> well, what we did one day just to get him was he started coughing. <clears throat> and we went, we had like, a you know, the console <clears throat> knobs and all of that. And we just l sat down on the floor with our hands on the knobs. And we flipped the switch, but he didn't know we were flipping the switch. And he kept turning beat, got beat red, turned redder and redder, trying not to cough. And 
that was that was that was my first uh, tri trip into being a no good nick in the radio business. But anyway, I'm tired. I'm I'm for some, re some reason I'm tired. I stopped taking any kind of pills the last couple of days, and I'm like loopy. You know. So. Did you, did you work out today? But yeah, I did. That's good. I did 20 minutes on the bike. I didn't do a lot. I did about four miles on it. Yeah, I think that that's like the most important. If you're really tired, at least 10 minutes, 15 yeah. minutes, just to get your body going. Didn't you know? do anything. You like that? You like that Peloton? Do I like it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. I see nothing wrong with it. I mean, I'm not the person who has to like it. You know, it's Marjorie, and she loves it. Do you do uh, uh, any of the uh, video things that they have? She does. She certain? does because uh, her, her the uh, daughter-in-law of her best friend is one of the instructors on yeah. Peloton, and uh, pretty good, you know. So and she uses her all the time. So you know, and it, it, it's worked out okay. It's worked out just fine. Let me see here. Here comes uh, Mr. Alfano. There he is. Okay, okay. There's uh, there's Rob. Okay, how's that? Uh huh. How goes it, folks? There's the Brady Bunch, folks. Uh, who's Alice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Everybody should look down and up. Wait a minute. Yeah. L wait a minute. Uh, Phil, look down. Yeah. Kevin, look up. <laughs> look up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see. And uh, Rob, look up. Jeff, look down. Look down. See? Okay. All right. And oh, and of course, Brian is looking down. But you could look over to your right, um, Brian. Look over to your right. And, and look over to your left, uh, uh, Charlene. Look over to your left. Your left. My your left. left. Your, your left. left. <laughs> your left. What, My left. Okay. Whatever. Like that? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So. <laughs> The Brady Bunch, folks. It'd be fun if you could hand something. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, just take your phone and hand it and the other well, person. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> well, here, uh, I, you're right next to me. Uh, uh, hand your phone over to me. Uh, it has to go uh, to your left. Okay. Who? You. You. Oh, yeah. To my left? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So move it, move it out of your out of uh, range of you see your picture. Okay. And I'm going to go up here. Wait a minute. Uh, th 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 there. Ah, uh, there please. we go. Hey, Jeff, <laughs> take this. Huh? <laughs> what? Let's see. I don't, I don't have one. <laughs> what is that? Is that your phone? Yeah, it's my phone. Yeah, it's, it's your like phone. Yeah. <laughs> As I tended it through. Yeah. Yeah, right. That would have that gone over to Jeff. Yeah. Oh, no. It's backwards. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it had to go this way. Yeah. 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 All yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. So what what do you think about this whole flap about the churches? Uh, you know, about the uh, political bullshit. Huh? Political bullshit, political absolutely. Bullshit. But I mean, it's a way he, to fire up the base again. Uh, I mean, he said that God will protect them. What would you say? <laughs> God will protect them. If, if you better if you read the reports on God's blood. If, if, if you read, read all the reports on that, I I don't think how many here really think he took the chloroquine or whatever that What's it called, uh, Brian? Hydrochloroquine. Hydrochloroquine. How many people here actually think he took it? Nope. Yeah, why, why, what's the big deal? It's, it's what's used the big for us. Phil, Phil, what's the big deal? Hey, Alex. They Alex. came out today with a report of something yeah. like, I don't know how many cases, 10,000 cases, and 35% th had heart problems as a result of it? Most of them were old enough that they had heart problems. No, anyway. you didn't know that, Phil. Hey, what you got to lose? <laughs> There's a woman. The president, we hope. Yeah. Vernon Nunn know. sent me an item today about a woman in Wisconsin, I think, who has been on this chloroquine stuff, whatever, hydrochloroquine, for something like 19 years because she has lupus. And guess what? She came down with COVID-19. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I can only hope it works. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you think she she her uh, she's compromised immunity? You know, if she got lupus. 
Phil, it's it. supposed to prevent you, according to our president, from getting it. Well, does the president have it? We, we don't well, know. He if he had it, if he took the hydrochloroquine and he doesn't have it, so, you know, it must prove that it works. Well, he let's... That's science. that's science for you right there. That's real science. Yeah. <laughs> I don't science think fiction. That's... Yeah. <laughs> we have a president as a guinea pig. Isn't that awesome? Well, the reason I don't think he, he took it is because I don't think any doctor worth his salt would have given him a prescription for it. Can it get you high? No. <laughs> no. It can get you it can get you low though. Real low. <laughs> six feet under. Yeah. I don't think I don't he's think being the tested every day. What'd you, what, what, what'd you say, Brian? Oh, I don't think he's being tested every day either. Really? No, I believe that. How far do they have to Brian, how, how far do they have to stick that thing up a person's nose to? I forget what that's called, but it's the, the yeah. There's another level of sinuses back there. It goes behind your eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> comes out of your butthole. Well, that's that's for sure. <laughs> but it doesn't look comfortable. No, no you can say that there's people in the drive-through thing or are getting that thing stuck all the way up there. Well, uh, what's his name? Uh, Cuomo did yeah. it the other day uh, on yeah. the air. And it, it 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 went in there pretty deep. Yeah, I bet that goes. I don't know, maybe yeah, three and but a half. But it's inch. about it's about three or four seconds of discomfort, and then it's over with. Yeah, you know. My eighty nine year old mother says you're a big wussy if you can't do it. <laughs> I think the thing breaks off in there. <laughs> no, I'd rather have to go up no, my butt those with are, those it. Are hard plastic. But Alex, do you have do you have anything still up there from all of the stuff you did back in the eighties? Uh, I'm sure if they uh, if they went up there with one of those swabs, they'd come back with a gold mine. <laughs> <laughs> or it would have been dissolved off. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I'm surprised that with all the coke I did back in the day, that I didn't have a uh, a hole in my nose Sept in my septum. You know, but I didn't. Wait. What? I remember back then, Live on the Five used to call. What was the the Nash uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash? Remember? Yeah. The one the one guy who was the overweight one, and he got busted for cocaine. And you said he was had the wrong stuff or something. That's you always used to make Crosby. fun of him because why was he so fat and he was not doing so much coke? Well, it's it's the old it's the old Larry Bubbles Brown line about what's he cutting his coke with butter. Oh. Butter. <laughs> it, it, yeah, and and then after a while, he didn't even do the joke anymore. He just would say butter. <laughs> butter. Um, but no, I I I couldn't figure out how he got that fat on and was doing coke all the time. Same with Jerry Garcia, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It's the heroin. It'll put it on you. I don't know. Was Garcia a heroin user? Yeah, yeah. I think. That's what he died from. Oh okay. All right. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, that's one thing I never tried. I never would try that. I've heard about heroin that you, if you tried it, it's really good. It's really good. That's why you don't and try it. And that's why you don't try it. Exactly. You know. I had pharmaceutical heroin uh, that I snorted. Yeah. It's not addictive What is that it. noise? Is that you... Charlene, it's got to oh, be Charlene. She always is sorry. a noise maker. I had yeah. to go get something for a headache. I just came back. Yeah. <laughs> Light. Hmm? What's that headlight she's wearing? Yeah, you got like a, a laser pointer on the end of your... I'm borrowing my son's uh, headset. Is it broken? Yeah, because no. he got a new one. <laughs> I stole the old one. <laughs> it was in the bottom of the closet. So that I said, I'm going to take it. Oh, yeah. it's good? Okay, Important. that's what I was hoping. Because he's got all professional equipment in there. Yeah. but He's uh, buying, you know, equipment, so I thought mm. maybe if it's not broken, I'll steal this one because he doesn't want it. Okay. Anyway, so, um, um, no, the thing about, about the churches is he said, well, you know, if we can allow people to, uh, 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 liquor stores to open up and Coke dispens uh, what do you, uh, 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 marijuana Mar dispensaries to open up, and he went on with a whole bunch of different things, we can allow churches to open up. But he didn't realize it, churches are a whole different deal. You know, when you go to a church, it's not like you exactly are avoiding people, you know? But what if you social distance? You sit in the pews six feet away from one another. What's the difference? 
what 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 is what is the difference? What? Yeah, you know, I went to Home Depot and they just. Phil, you, know, you sometimes say well, things you know, just to cause an don't argument. Don't put 180 people in a liquor store either. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. they can't put 180 people in. But they're limiting them to 10. Which oh, uh, Jeff's got his hand up. Charlene's got her hand up. So yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Ladies first. Oh well, I don't know. I just heard what they're talking about now. They had a priest and they had like a whole town meeting or something on CNN about how the churches are all going to go back if he says that they can have everybody go back and I happen to be a Catholic I'm fallen, I don't go to church but and I doubt if I even believe there's a God or whatever anymore but they say now that there's a whole thing going on with how do you do this now, they're going to have plexiglass uh, handing the host uh, should you have mass in there? You have to be social distance. I mean, there's a whole thing going on now. If they are going back to church, like, do you stick your face into the plexiglass? I mean, I started laughing because I think this is kind of funny. I think it's I mean, the, <laughs> you're going to be surrounded in plexiglass. Go ahead, the, uh, Rob. The, the Sorry. shaking hands and all that. They just going to yeah. go no, each other one of these. Not even bumping elbow. Jeff, I don't know. Jeff was next. Yes. Yeah, I could. Yes, I think one of the problems about uh, going to church is that people sing. Yeah. And when they yeah. sing, really spitting out. Well, they have to wear masks. Well, Catholics don't. Yeah, kind of, maybe. Hey, there, there are some people, you know, uh, there, there are some people, <laughs> Cuomo was funny today, he said, people who don't want to wear masks because, uh, for one reason or another, the same people who didn't want to wear condoms during the AIDS epidemic. <laughs> You know. Hey, Ray, Ray got a haircut. You're, you're cheating. How did you get into a barber? I did it myself. Uh, oh. But, oh. It, but it was a mistake. It's, it's like a, a skull cut, you know, like a crew cut by accident, because I mm. cut off a giant swath of hair by accident, so I did mm. cut, like, almost well, bald. Well, why did you have your wife do it? Yeah. I yeah. Do I mean, I, would, I, I didn't do it myself. I let her do mine, it. I'm doing mine tomorrow. Yeah. I yeah. should I should have asked her. Yeah, what kind of clippers do you have? Spontaneous sort of thing. What kind of clippers do you have? I have the good ones. Uh, begins with an H or what? Uh, wall. Yeah, the wall. Yeah, yeah, the I, one, I got wall. The, the wall with the colored uh, different colors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, these are old. And it's just the black oh, ones. You yeah. How about you? Yours the one I have, uh, Rob, with the different yeah, colors. Yeah, with the colors. There's it's a whole bunch all of them. All color coded. Yeah, I'm I'm the red. Yeah, I'm two color. I'm two colors, two yeah. and five. Yeah, uh, here comes We're fancy. Uh, here comes Jason. Well, let me see. I'm, uh, here. I'm I think the number two on my whole head. I'm wow. number one. Number one. <laughs> number see one. Here. Let's see here. I am. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying that's, to figure uh, out which uh, one of these well, people. That's, um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm trying to figure out though which one of these is Jason. 3 a.m. 303 J. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, because uh, they were all a whole Sounds. bunch of when people don't. You, you're very good. You gave a put a name up there, but all we have is black. Yeah, I, I clicked on my video, like I exited out, and then open it up again, and it's just black. Are you sure something isn't covering the lens? Oh yeah, yeah, it is. My <laughs> wife. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. There, what are you? Man. Are you afraid someone? Are you one of these people who is afraid? That's... My wife is. So really? Yeah, little hornitos. Yeah. Oh, hornitos. Oh, you mean I won't be able soda. to see her running around the house naked anymore? No, it's just the computer room. Nobody's ever in here except for my kid, and she's afraid that some perv is trying to spy on my kid doing his math homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is your kid doing uh, homeschooling? I mean, during all of this? Uh, to a bit, the got the schoolology thing. It's you know, it's basically just your participation points. What what, what yeah? But what grade is your kid in? Six. Oh really? And and you haven't they haven't like been doing classes every day? No, the the system was not in place to be there to do it, and they right. they're they're starting to get it in place because and now uh, even a guy I work with he's on the school board for my uh, district, and he's talking about you know yeah. hopefully we get stuff in place where maybe we can just only have half the kids go to school every so many days and then even if there's a snow day everybody can just be home and do school at home yeah. instead of actually having a snow day. That's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, how about your kids? They're they're doing the homeschool thing. 
Yeah, she is still. She's got one more week to go. How effective has that been? I mean, uh, she's been dealing with it. She don't like it. She don't like the antisocial aspect of it. Yeah. She wants to go back to school really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we went and picked up her locker stuff yesterday. Yeah. We had to sit in line for an hour while we waited for all her stinky stuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was. It's. It, she wants to go back. She likes, you know. Well, there's a certain. So, th there is a very social aspect to school. You know, the kids yeah. like. You know, they have their friends. They have their. It's their. It's their social grouping. Uh, and uh, unless you're the kid like me who used to have the bully waiting for him after school, but you know. It's, it's so funny how they want to go back to school so bad right now already. All kids do. And it hasn't even been as long as a normal summer break. You know, you're right. That, well, that's I'll tell you, the I've, summer break I've, sure has been long for me. <laughs> I've always been, I've always been uh, pro for uh, the balanced school calendar year. Mm -hmm. You know, and even if we had that right now, you'd be able to absorb some of the school year losses by just you know, moving around the dates of your vacations or your breaks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, that's something that comes out of this pandemic. Yeah, well, there are going to be a lot of things coming out of this pandemic. Uh, they, I saw a report tonight that um, it looks like a lot of companies are going to start letting their people work from home permanently. Google. Twitter Google. has said they're going to. Um, Google. Facebook, Google, Google is. Um, and why not? You know, right. why pay for buildings when you could have everybody just do this stuff from home? You know. Yeah, the problem is it's going to cost some people some jobs, too, I think. Well, uh, that was the thing we were talking about last night. Are the people yeah. who are going to lose their jobs as a result of downsizing? Yes, Jason. <clears throat> well, Charlene was first. but Okay. Yes, yeah, Charlene. Did you, already, did you already talk about this or something? But I saw a thing on, I don't know what show, 60 Minutes or something, like uh, private detectives are getting hired now by all these companies to make sure that everyone's really working from home. Did you guys discuss that already? That's no, a big that, job now that's, you know, going up. They're hiring them now to prove that everybody isn't on the golf course and stuff or okay. whatever. You know, they're really working from home. Jason uh, has his hand up. There's software and then, to do that. Yeah, right. Uh, Jason and uh, then, you know, then that, Phil. That just seems like that just go to, you know, how productive are you? Are you being productive right. enough to do your job? But um, the one thing I, I heard on the radio is they were saying, are you willing to take a pay cut to work from home? Because companies are starting to think that maybe it's a better idea. Why the hell should I have to take why, a pay why, cut? But they to work should, from they home? should give you a raise because they're not exactly. paying for the space that they had to you rent don't have before. You have to pay for the real estate. You don't have to pay for the yeah. electricity. Yeah. You don't have to pay for the water. You don't have to but pay you're for the saving. You're saving wear and tear in your vehicles. You're saving whatever. Hey, it hey, but so. If your employer is making more money off of it, then I shouldn't have to be the one to take the sacrifice is the way I look at it. Yeah. Yes, Phil. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say that there are these uh, things, they're called keyboard trackers, and mm -hmm. it's a software that uh, you, can, uh, you can see, you know, not only what sites people are on that work for you, but... Uh, every uh, keystroke, even every if they keystroke, deleted it. They do. Even when they back up and they delete a key... You know, like they say, Phil is a fucker, and then they back up uh, the the fucker, and they say, "Nice guy." You still can see uh, the whole the whole deal. But you know, in California, especially Silicon Valley, there's a lot of people that aren't living in apartments or houses that are working in Silicon Valley. You know, they're they're living in uh, RVs and and stuff like that. Yeah. It's gonna, because it's so expensive, uh, and a, a lot of these workers. They assemble things and, and, and they... Well, and but they we're, we're like, not talking about that. They're talking about there are certain people who can work from home. There are a lot service. of jobs, especially yeah, yeah. things like Twitter and Facebook, which are administrative. Like, for well, instance, when I, when I post this show onto, um, uh, onto YouTube, uh, yeah. every day lately they've been fucking up. Every day. Because I, they, I do the live show, then it's supposed to take about an hour, and then it posts as a full post. And they haven't been posting it. So then I have to write them the next day and tell them again for the seventh day in a row that it's still doing this. And will they please stop it and start letting things go through easier? And I don't hear anything back from them. But they're immediately within, an, within 20 minutes, mm -hmm. that page is up. 
So well, I know that there's somebody working from home who went, oh, yeah. that pain in the ass wrote me that again today. To we better do this. You know, you got the Twitter building, which uh, is, uh, what, 10th and Market. Then you have that, that used to be Apple. the Live 105 Studios. Yeah, they, there's the big Apple uh, complex that they built, uh, the spaceship. Uh, 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 Facebook has a ton of real estate and, and the, uh, offices in San Jose and uh, Santa Clara. Uh, if all those things go empty, uh, it's going mm -hmm. to hurt the economy. Well, it is, and it w they will. Because Twitter has said already, if you are working from home and you want to continue working from home, you can continue to work from home. Okay? And, f and today I saw, what's his name from, from Facebook, that douche, uh, saying he felt the same way that within, within, he said, within 50 years, there'll be no such thing as an office that you go to. Mm. Yeah, Google, Google bought up all the land around our company, mm -hmm. and what they did was about seven years ago, they rezoned the whole area. So everything, all the, like the PC board manufacturing companies, all the semiconductor, one level, big uh, facilities, mm -hmm. they rezoned that area. So Google bought up all the land, and then they've been building up. And like the big buildings around us are all the cloud buildings. So it says Google Cloud on the side. And I'm sure all that stuff they can be doing from home. Yeah. So what about is that? Uh, uh, 237 and uh, Caribbean Drive or Lawrence Express. Okay. What okay. were you? Uh, let's see, Rob. You were going to say something, and then what do you Ray. What happens to the big cities after that happens? If 50 years from now, no one reports to an office. You've got these skyscrapers in the city: New York, Chicago, mm -hmm. all the big cities. What happens to a city? They become apartments. Almost oh, shelters. I was just thinking that. Mm -hmm. Apartments. Well, what's but, going to happen? What's going to happen to begin with is it's all, and, and it's starting to happen here in New York with all the businesses closed down. A lot of places are going belly up. The all the lunch places that people were going to at yes. noon. I mean, a couple of months of not all them not reasons. getting business. I uh, Shecky uh, and I always when I go out to see him, we go to and we mm -hmm. go to this uh, sushi place. It's a sushi buffet. It's amazing. Just um, and we go there all the time. Every time I go out there, the we get in the car. No, 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 nothing like that. It's just a, just this buffet cost about twenty five bucks, and we go in there and we pick out on the sushi and on the everything, and it's great. It's terrific. Well, it was great and it was terrific. They've so, closed down, and this business, oh, wow. this business was a going concern because they had. I'd say 500 tables in that place. Wow. You know, it was huge. So something, you know, just a couple of months of not getting business, they're ready to call it quits. Yeah. Well, we had a, we have a place here and Brian and um, uh, Ray probably know about them specialties. Mm -hmm. They're, yeah. they're uh, sandwich joints. They're yeah. delicatessen type thing and they do a lot of catering. And yeah. they're in the general areas. They they spot these places right in the business areas, and they're right there on Bowers, right in the Silicon yeah. Valley. Yeah. They spot them right by Intel's and AMD's and all that. And there's hmm. 30 of them in the Bay Area, and they all shut down Tuesday. Yeah, and we we get we get lunches. Our company gets lunches for every little meeting we have. Yeah, yeah. we used yeah. to get them all yeah. the time from there. I ordered from yeah. there all the time when we had meetings, safety meetings and stuff. We'd mm -hmm. we'd order specialties and bring in all the sandwiches and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, now they, they were great because works. They had the whole package and a box box everything in there. Yeah. yeah. Now, jo really Josh good. works in a business that probably wouldn't necessarily be impacted that way. Well, hold on a second. Yes, Ray. Oh, I just wanted to say I live right next to the Googleplex, just a mile away, and uh, one of them. Yeah, the the main one, you know, that's yeah, like, and yeah. Uh, that, that there's no tr one great thing is just there's no more trust. Oh my God! Yeah. Like, it, like, because of that place, Facebook also, which is real close. Yeah. You, you never would want to get on the road after like two thirty. Yeah. But now, anytime's fine. Yes, uh, Jason. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I, I can say with the way that traffic has been lately, I am using half of the gas. Mm -hmm. I still drive the exact same amount, but instead, before I'd have to fill up my car every week, but I still do every week, but I only use a half a tank now. 
Yeah, but how much is gas? Gas is still yeah, right. just jumped cheap. up to a dollar ninety nine today. Ours We're dollar forty nine here. Regular in, in Northern California, two nine nine. Yeah, but, yes. but what did you say, Rob? What is it in your here? Dollar forty nine in Virginia. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was like three yeah. days ago. Yeah. Also, Facebook has two brand new buildings going up in Burlingame, up by the airport, and so does Oracle, and they're in the process of almost being done. What are they going to do with those? <laughs> and that's on prime. <laughs> they'll still they'll still become meeting places and stuff, I think, and still have people filtering in and out of them. But yeah, I think but maybe a lot are, of these restaurants. You, that you know what? Water, you know those they, are you, overflow buildings. You, you know what they found though. Um, the, the, for instance, Zoom has changed the whole nature of business now, because Zoom, as opposed to this little shit shit ass thing we're doing here with Skype, uh, I have an account that I pay fourteen ninety nine a month for, and I can put a hundred people at a time on it. <laughs> and if you're a bigger company, you get one of the higher plans. You can put a thousand people at a time on it. Um, you can have whole company meetings yeah. on yeah. Zoom. But, but it's not good for customer meetings because you can't see your customers and what they're doing. I stand in front of a lot of rooms and give presentations. And when you're talking and you need to look at people and see, are they fidgeting? Are they interested? Body yeah. language? You can't see any of that. So mm -hmm. they, they, Customers they, like touch, they like touchy-feely. You, you just need it as a as a as a person trying to sell, yep. you, you got to gauge people. You can't well, tell what they're doing when I, you're talking I, into a computer. I was asking Marjorie about it, her business. Uh, she has guys who are, uh, what they do is they buy into companies is what they do. And, and they, it's, uh, uh, and, and so they do a lot of meetings at their offices here in New right. York, bring people up, have meetings and so on. And I said to her, could they live without doing it that way and doing it on Zoom? And she says, well, they're doing it on Zoom right now. No choice. No choice. But, you know, what becomes no choice suddenly becomes what you want. Day. What you're huh. used to, you know? Yes, Ray. It's a different experience. I just want to um, – yeah, so I, actually it's been a, a fun for me. Uh, there have been all these really innovative things that theater companies have been doing with Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not like doing a show in person, but we're, it's becoming really innovative. And uh, it's amazing the things that people are coming up with. Yeah, yeah. Like well, they're talking through the, the screen at each other. And then if if somebody's in the show and, they're, and they live in the same house, <laughs> you can do all kinds of crazy you, funny shit. You, like all of a sudden they show up in you the wanna background. Know, you want to know the latest uh, uh, t TV show that's out there? Hold on a Saturday second. I got to see no. what American Idol did. How they put yeah. that together? No, but they're doing they're doing America's Got Talent. How are they going to wow. do that one? They, if you watch American Idol, they just had the finale. Uh, I watched it because yeah. it's amazing the sound quality. They're all shooting with iPhones. Yeah. They send all the contestants three or four iPhones. They set them up. They design Two. their own sets, and then they they can do zooms with the iPhones. They could do. I, it's they control it all from the from the from the studio. Yeah, it's amazing. It really yeah. By the way, I'll tell you something amazing in a second. And but do you think but, Ryan but the thing is really having a heart attack? <laughs> yeah. The 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 the, um, uh, the fact of the matter is is that a lot of these people are starting to do things with Zoom that they get very inventive with. A show that just started, and I'm trying to remember the name of it, and I. Uh, oh, I, the I, one where they dress up like uh, no, animal creatures? No, 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 no. Oh, no, not that one? No, no. <laughs> Mass Singer? No, not mm. that. Not that. What, 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 I hate what, that show. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Uh, hold on a second. Wait a minute. I will. Uh, I have the name of the show here. I had it here. Oh, mm. well. Uh, it, oh, it's, oh, yeah, here it is. is it's ever. called Once Upon a Quarantine. Oh, and wow. it's they follow four sets of people who are videotaping themselves or taping themselves in their environment and in their daily quarantine lives. And they have a series now. They, uh, they debuted it this week. Um, so we're even getting our first quarantine television shows. Oh, yes. Wow, they have to come find me. <laughs> I'll be on it. 
you know. Are they the same people every week? Or are they yeah, I people? think, I don't know. I'm going to have to look at it and see, but I think it is the same people every week. But it's four or five sets of people. Uh, one of one of the women is pregnant. Uh, another story, you know, I haven't watched the thing yet, but uh, it looks it looks like somebody got pretty inventive. Yes, uh, uh, Jason. I just have to say, I think Saturday Night Live, when they're doing their stuff from home, is the, some of the best the stuff. The last done one in was the best Saturday Night Live in 40 years. Right. Mm. Okay. I mean, that's how good it was. Did you see it, Rob, by any chance? I did. I've been watching them all. It, it was I didn't great. Care for the first one, much. Huh? I didn't care for the first one. But the second one, when they got, they, got they, it, got, they got a lot better. Yeah. They it, sent them equipment, they were mic'd properly. Yeah. It, it, they took some gab nut. Uh, <laughs> well, got some but, experience from gab nut. Well, it's what I always said on Saturday Night Live is years ago. I thought maybe they should do away the, with the live component. You know, because when you're not doing live, you can then work on things, you know. But I saw a documentary today on the Disney Plus channel about the making of The Mandalorian. Anybody watch The Mandalorian at all? It's a great show. It's a great show. Uh, but they showed how they did it. It's a whole new technology in which they're not using green screens any longer. People don't know what green screens are. It's that you put a green screen, and then after in post, you put your background on the green screen so people look like they're in a desert or whatever. What they came up with is this whole new system called, uh, I'm trying to remember what they had a name for it, but it is a, it is a studio full of semicircular screens. And they just simply put the backgrounds, instead of green screening them, on these LED screens. And it's amazing. It is just amazing. It's going to change the whole way we make movies. Um, he said one example of why this works so well is the Mandalorian always wears a piece of headgear. And it's shiny. And if they were doing green screen... You would the green would show up on the shiny parts of the face, so then they would have to mat that out by putting something over the green on his face. They don't have to do that now because all he's re reflecting is the set, is this giant LED screen, and it's a giant, huge LED, and then on the ceiling an LED canopy. Wow. Yeah. And then they just sit there, you know, hey, okay, we're going to do this scene now. Uh, bring up uh, setup number two, you know. Hmm. And, and, and it's going to be a whole, it's a whole new way of making movies. Yeah, yes, uh, Brian. So, yeah, so my kids today, when I came home, they asked to watch Scoobs. So I had three kids watch Scoobs for like $16, and we had Costco popcorn. They did a couple things of popcorn. Mm -hmm. If we went to the movies to go see that, I or Tiffany would have had to go with them, right? Yeah. And then pay the money, and mm -hmm. then pay the popcorn, and pay the drinks, and probably save like fifty or sixty dollars. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm good. I'm good this way. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you, <laughs> it's the end of theaters as we know them. Why? Why go to a movie theater? Why? What? So somebody can kick the back of your seat? <clears throat> So, well, and because before it was the brand new movie, right? Well, now this is a brand new movie, and we get to watch it right away. Yeah, that's right. Yes, Charlene. What is with this thing that they're talking about, the drive-ins? How are they going to implement that? Like, are they going to use my device in my car that makes my phone go through the radio thing? Like, is that like Bluetooth? Hey, when's the last time you went to a drive? Or? When's the last time you went to a drive-in? Well, they don't have any. No, anymore. no. I mean, it, 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 it's been coming through your radio in your car for years. Well, the uh, drive-in yeah. movies? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have not the drive-in. I, I have been the drive-in since uh, Planet of the Apes. Well, uh, and that's the reason why. But what they did <laughs> is they start they, they, they transmit the, the audio onto your car radio. And yeah, uh, and doing. and therefore you can get it in stereo where you couldn't get it in stereo when you had that thing hanging yeah, out. Uh, yeah, that horrible thing on the window that's and all they that. Did just before they all shut down. Yeah, I remember. So now they're gonna have to open them all back up again, right? You have one about like the Not really, yeah, because they gotta have they have to have the product to put in them, Charlene. And the fact is that these companies are finding that they're making just as much money showing this At stuff home. directly to the home. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't think I want to go to the drive-in. I remember the last movie I saw in a drive-in, and it was Vanishing Point. 
Uh, <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the topless girl oh, with, the, with the flat chest. Yeah. I saw Flesh Gordon or something. I think in a drive-in once. Yeah. <laughs> Flesh Gordon. Flesh. I, they they Flesh. up near Nevada. <laughs> up up near nice Nevada. Up. The guys in California will know what I'm talking about. There's a place between Nevada and Santa Rosa where there was a drive-in theater, yeah. and it was facing the highway. You could see it from the highway. And when in his last days it wasn't doing very well, they decided to turn it into a porno theater. (laughs) And so people would be driving by and see these giant vaginas and giant penises on a screen, (laughs) and there were more accidents right there. (laughs) Wrecks everywhere. That was hilarious. Yeah. So you remember that? The first time I saw that, I was like, no way. This can't be happening. (laughs) (laughs) It didn't last long. Yeah, yeah, there's there's a place along 101 past Novato that is a it looks like a windmill, but it's a it's a bunch of uh, half uh, 55 gallon drums that rotate in in the air, and you see it from 101. Was that the uh, the, the place, or ha, have you ever seen that? Where that, was this? That's one of the windmills. 101 Nevada. Nevada. Huh? It's a windmill. It is a windmill. It, 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 yeah, it's one of them homemade windmills. It's been there as long as I've been in the Bay Area since yeah. uh, '74, and it, it's it, it's these half uh, 55 gallon drum yeah. cut in half, and and and, they, and it just it rotates. It's, That's a windmill. It's art, Phil. So uh, it's called it. art. <laughs> you you Trumpians don't know from art. <laughs> no, we take the money away from that and and spend it on churches. And spend it on hookers. <laughs> it's killing birds. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it, 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 you know, I mean, um, it, 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 our whole world is going to change as a result of this. And it's so it, they had a uh, a uh, what do you call it a uh, local county uh, supervisors thing today on opening up theaters and stuff like that as well here. And they were talking one of the theater owners here that I was telling you about that was selling the the popcorn and stuff on the side they're going to they have new software where they're going to when they open up the theaters that it's going to you're going to buy your tickets ahead of time and you're going to have reservations now and they're going to group the reservations you know if you've got a family of 5 they'll group family of 5 together and then the software will pick 6 feet around them or 7 feet around them and you'll <laughs> The next person will buy two people, and they'll take those two seats and assign two seats, and then take another six feet, and you'll buy four seats. So it'll assign so many people until there's no room left in that particular theater, and then they'll yeah. sell it out. I'll That's want how they're going to handle that uh, thing. Uh, Jason. So I'm just curious, out of the people who are here, how many would sign up for a contact tracing app where your location is located at all times, but it would let you know if you came in contact with somebody who tested positive. I would. I would too. I, I've, I've given yeah. up on privacy, so yeah, I'd yeah. do it. Well, I'm gonna like, sweep, I, sweep you guys up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I like have no privacy, so I don't care. I just say, I guess I'm not that scared or worried about it because I, I think I'm understanding it now. When you just said that, Jason, it's helping me understand what that contact thing is. <laughs> Because you know, I other, didn't quite get what they were doing, you know. Other countries are already doing it, but yeah. they're, you know, they're supposedly more orth- authoritarian or whatever, you know, where you don't have the rights, but, you know. It's a sl- slippery slope. It is. Yeah. Well, you know something? You know, In the old days, you used to have to call somebody up and tell them you might have given them the clap. But now somebody right. else is doing it for you. <laughs> You know, it's a slippery slope, but you it's still as long as you can still vote for who you want and let stuff come into control and then vote the people out. People voted yeah. Adolf Hitler in the power. Yeah. Yeah. They, they monitor a lot of stuff we don't realize. I mean, when you go to Safeway or something and you use your rewards yeah. card, they're monitoring what you're buying. Exactly. They can and key things into the buying, even in those individual stores, you know. Hey, is Joe Biden the guy you all want? Oh, I knew he was going to be. Somebody Trump. brought him up. What? No, what a foot in mouth Sanders. he had. Uh, I don't want Biden, but I'm going to have to get him, I guess. He stuck his foot in his he mouth, boy. Trump. Did you hear he's uh, going to select probably yeah. Amy Klobuchar? 
Really? No, it's not. Probably one of the better ones. That's what I heard is that she was being vetted. I think she's one of the better ones, too. No, except unless it was Tulsi Gabbard. Whitmer's being vetted. <laughs> eh, Whitmer ain't going to take it. I know, but just because she's being vetted doesn't mean you're going to pick her. I, uh, I, I dislike the fact that Biden said, uh, just without even thinking twice, well, I'm going to choose a woman. Uh, I don't think that should be the qualification. I think the qualification should be she's the right person for the right job. And and, and I think to predetermine that it's going to be a woman is limiting your choices. And in of, in of itself, sexist. Who, what, where's that coming from? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, that in and of itself is kind of sexist, isn't it? Who Nobody just has YouTube on at the background? Who just uh, who's, yeah, speakers are too loud? Oh, okay. No. Well, you're having troubles there, Jason. Oh, I muted myself. I said, I think somebody's speakers are too loud. Yeah, yeah. No, now we're okay. Whatever, somebody. But uh, don't uh, don't mute yourself because when you're muting yourself, you're also turning off the camera. You're not muting yourself. Oh, sorry. I hit the yeah, camera. Not yeah, the mute. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, but you know, I mean, um, uh, yeah, so, you know, I, yes, Jason, I, I say, I, I do think that that was kind of a dumb move or maybe you should make that move privately and say, yes, I'm going to put a woman as my VP and I'm going to choose a woman who will more likely be voted in for president instead of just putting it out there because then you do kind of horseshoe yourself because something like a pandemic might happen where you might want to choose somebody else who is more educated and more up on something else. But at the same time, it is time. You know, Look, women are 52% of the population. I understand that, but then the Democratic Party should run a woman, and they did last time, but she was the wrong woman. Charlie, I just wanted to ask you, what do you think about this concept that uh, – that Biden is saying, well, I'm going to I'm going to uh, get a woman as my vice president. Um, don't you find that a tad sexist? That you're making that predetermination? No, no, I don't find that uh, sexist because there's, there's only been one woman vice presidential candidate in the history of the whole country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Ferraro. That's sexist. Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin and Ferraro was also. Vice. Oh, just two. I'm sorry, I forgot about Palin. Yeah. So, can I? Have, yeah. So, didn't you get the feeling that Biden made that decision right at that moment, just because he felt like he had to say that when Bernie asked him or whoever it was I, that asked I him? I think so. I mean, I just, yeah. I just was yeah, bothered well, it was by a long it time because ago. I thought he's backed <laughs> off of that because well, it, it, it is a form of condescension, you yeah. know. Mondale Mondale Ferraro. Ferraro. Right. There you go. Right. Yeah. Right there, there sure. was a winning ticket. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a guarantee, right there. And, you know, and I mean, the worst the worst thing that can happen is sort of like what you're saying, right? Pandemic happens, and then there's this rising star that comes up, and then the whole U.S. falls in love. With it. That could be the worst. You know case what? You know what? Am I am I wrong about this? But are the Democrats particularly good at picking the wrong person for a nominee? <laughs> sure. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, so with Republicans, but he gets elected. Well, no, but Republicans, at least, you know, somebody like Romney. No, he wasn't going to be a winner, but he wasn't exactly a loser. You know what I'm saying? Um, Mondale was, you know, there was no way Mondale was ever going to win the election. You know, uh, um, and uh, who are some of the other ones that I remember? Who was that really short guy they had there? Uh, his what, uh, the sister was an actress. No, his sister was an actress. Uh, the guy in the tank? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, what the hell was his name? He oh, was shit. governor of Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. You see, Humble that's how head. good Humble. he was. We can't even remember his name. <laughs> his name. It was the same time potato couldn't be spelled or something, right? That no, was not, Dan Quayle. That, that was Dan right. Quayle. Yeah, he was a senator. Yeah. He could. But who was running... Was he, he was vice president, wasn't he? Yeah. Running for vice president, but who was yeah. running against them? Uh, well, Dukakis. Dukakis. Yeah. Dukakis. Dukakis. Right. Yeah. And and his sister. His sister was. Uh, his was. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, what's her name, Dukakis? Uh, yeah. Ki- Kitty, yeah. Kitty Dukakis? No. Olympia, Olympia Dukakis. Olympia Dukakis. Olympia. Uh, is she alive or dead? I dead. think she's died. No, I think oh, okay. she passed away. Yeah, okay, like good, because then I can tell the story about her. I, I met up with somebody who acted with her in a movie and said, you know the worst thing about her? I said, what? I said, she farted like crazy. <laughs> and they weren't just noisy farts. They were stinky farts. And I'm thinking of Olympia Dukakis, Academy Award nominee, or maybe even she won uh, Olympia Dukakis, and that she had these really smelly farts. And every time I would see her on the screen, all I could think of was somebody had to act next to her and was probably holding their breath. Yeah, but where were you seeing her fart, Alex? When you interviewed her, where? No, no, no. no. Come across her Listen party? to what I said. What did you say? I'm not going to repeat it. Somebody right. told right. me I'll that they had acted. The replay. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I was laughing so hard about her farting. I didn't hear what I you know. said. Sorry. <laughs> but, um, well, yeah. Alex, can I say something? Because I had my hand up. Yeah. Nobody mentioned what um, Biden said today. Like, were you going to bring that up? He said something terrible, like uh, another gaffe that he said um, to the black guy, Charlemagne the God. He said yep. that if if you ain't black, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black or something like that. And he started a whole Why thing is that now. A gaffe? Right. Why well, is that a gaff? You know, I'm gonna because get in trouble Trump? now. To mention it was. It, it's only it's only a gaff because people because are looking it was for gaff. Because who said it? Because it was, well, it, I, you know, it, it was meant. It was meant as a. It was meant as a joke. It was meant as a joke. Right, he, it was meant as well, a joke, and I understood that. But that's the way it is nowadays. A white man can't that. say something like that, and it gets taken the wrong way. Like you know, yeah. that usually happens to me. So. But I mean, if you look at <laughs> at at, uh, at uh, Biden's history with the black community, mm-hmm. it's been a pretty good one. Yeah. You know, right. and so why suddenly get on him for something like that? Because he happens uh, to like say right. something. And Wanda and, Sykes tweeted something uh, that she said he was trying to make a joke, and she made a joke, and I don't know what it was, so I apologize. Go ahead. And I'm sorry. Unless you look at his record with the credit card companies, and then it doesn't help people of color. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Yeah, but anyway, uh, you know, I mean, it, it was. Uh, it, it, I just. I found it being a little nitpicky, this whole thing. They're always looking for gaffes that he makes. And, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, come on. If Trump did it... We'd expect it. We'd expect it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. What do you got to lose? Mm. Right. They yeah. don't have to look very far for a uh, Biden gaffe. Uh, I felt Trump bad gaffe. for him. Well, you, you, I felt look, bad for him that he did it. You don't have to look far to find, uh, find an anybody gaffe, Phil. I mean, come on. You know, it's amazing how many gaffes your boy had during the election. And bottom line was, he got elected, okay? My my boy was not a professional politician that's been in Washington for 40 years. And it's showing. And it's showing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And 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 people are dying. Biden's different. You know, by the way, Phil, if you, uh, you know, you, I know you have no love for Mario Cuomo, uh, Andrew Cuomo, um, uh, but uh, if you want to uh, find, I think it's today's Guardian or maybe yesterday's Guardian, London Guardian, uh, there is a person who wrote an op ed going after uh, Cuomo and his record and saying that it isn't as wonderful and as vaunted as you would like to think it is. And then they talked about how he didn't get onto the, you know, the coronavirus bandwagon until it was too late. He was a week late, right? He was a week late, according to even his medical guy, that they were a week late. If they had done it a week earlier, they could have saved, uh, I don't know, how, I don't know how many thousands. 46,000 lives. 46,000 lives, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I mean. Uh, huh? What? It's a hope. It was a democratic hoax, the virus. The, oh, the virus is a democratic <laughs> yeah. hoax. There's no question it's about it. Not, not opening up the economy is the hoax. What do you mean? Well, uh, not the opening economy up. is man-made. You need man to have it. So. We are. <laughs> you know, I think that you're going to find that we're probably going to go back to closing things down. 
you want my opinion. It hasn't been the case in uh, Georgia. Well, no, no, but it's, a, no? but it's the well, case in... They're lying. They're lying. Wait a minute. No, yeah, no. well, that's already been shown. Florida, it's up. Georgia, it's up. Um, you can Georgia only lie is up. so long. You cannot... When yeah. the hospitals are overwhelmed... Yeah, and the medical system's overwhelmed. There'll yeah. be no more lying. Yeah, so Jason. It's also not been Texas, Texas. Texas, it's getting terrible, right, Charlie? Yeah, Texas. I'm yeah. not yeah. going outside for nothing. Yeah, that's going to be the scary thing. Is it's not going to be so bad at first, right? And then it's going to hit. Well, because you know, there's a 14 day lag. Yeah. Between what things are going to be and what they are now. Yeah. Well, Florida did have their experience where the the governor of Florida was saying, you know, it's been 14 days. It's false media. It's going down, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, that's where maybe, maybe the UV rays are actually going to help in the summertime and getting outside is going to help. But then when stuff starts getting shut down and people are still infected and you're going back inside, going back into climate controlled environments where viruses are spread easier going to have a big hit well the hit to the economy if this gets worse again and i'm i'm i'll bet you any amount of money you got that it's going to get worse before it gets better uh is going to cost us more money than if we had just kept maintaining this for a little bit more and taking what, the safe way out what, yes. what's the, what's the story on sweden you know sweden's not my favorite economic place right. but, uh, but is uh, what what I, I don't know what the news is on uh, their deaths and, and so forth. Does anybody know what's going on where oh, they did it? Here, what? I have really. <clears throat> yeah, they have a higher mortality rate of any country in Europe. Sweden is right now at, uh, let's see here, uh, 32,809 cases with 3,925 deaths. Now, we have to place that against the size of population. That's uh, over 10% mortality. Yeah, check Norway. Okay, so Norway, next door. look at Norway. Yeah. Right next door. Or, or, and who was the other country that was on the other or side? Or Finland or De Denmark. Look at it right Norway right is door. only 8,332 cases. Yeah, because they were practicing all this social distancing and all that. Sweden was the one that wasn't doing anything. Right. So they were just going to wing it. Yeah, and they were going to wing it and see. They sacrificed yeah. thousands of lives for their economy. Ray? Sweden has uh, 389 deaths per 1 million. Uh -huh. uh, France is 433 for every million. Um, UK has 536 for every 1 million. So Sweden is doing better than France and UK. Italy has Stop 5. About how about us per million? Per million. Look at, that. Look at the, how much of the population gets the disease in Sweden. France okay. all right, all right. doesn't so, have anywhere near that number of people get the disease. Okay, so the total cases per million in Sweden is, is, is high. It's 3,051. Yeah. Although UK is higher at three thousand seven hundred forty-seven, but they were well, ahead of the curve. Also, consider where people live is a cosmopolitan. I don't know anything about Sweden, but I've been to the UK and okay. places like London, like New York City, right? Mm -hmm. Highly dense places. So you have to take, you know, the the the, the population and the way it's yeah, and how many dense people it is internationally in, in, go well, there? Wasn't the idea wasn't the idea in Sweden that they all got the uh, the an not the antibodies, but it was, what, what's that herd? The herd immunity. Explain, Brian. Explain herd. You know Brian? Their, their idea. You don't get yeah. immunity from people around you. That does not happen. If you, you either have it or you don't, and if you don't, you fucking die. Brian, elucidate a little bit. Herd immunity. Explain it. Are you there? Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so the resistance of the spread, but usually that's done with vaccines or just. Getting it. <laughs> minimal, yeah, minimal, minimal social distancing. Mm -hmm. And so that's what they're trying to do. And we did uh, just have, have some minimal. They do have some. Herd yeah. immunity yeah. means 70% of the population has antibodies to the disease. Okay. Uh, so uh, let me see here. Ray's got his hand up. I just, I just, I have a really good table here. So USA has uh, 4,973 cases per 1 million. Sweden has 3,251 per 1 million. Um, other big countries so are So per 1 million, they're right up there with us, right? 
Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Ireland's bad too. They're at four, right with the U.S. Four thousand nine hundred and sixty-nine per million. So it's almost. Uh, how are we with Brazil? I, how are we with? Means it doesn't matter whether you close down the country or not. No. It didn't no, have to no, kill no. the uh, the no. economy. No. To end up with the same results. No, well, that's, that's not true. That's, that's not true. true. You okay. don't know how because much. That, yeah, that it, number's not taking into account the population centers and how dense people are put together. Where I live, you could have everybody working. I can guarantee you, you're not going to have that kind of concentration of uh, infection. You do that in New York City, in Chicago, and L.A., and it's over. So yeah, part of the reason our numbers is so bad is because of New York City. Right. Yeah, yeah. and you, and you, also, I mean, it's, places, it's a good thing. No, but the thing is, Phil, that the uh, uh, the, the whole thing with uh, with Sweden is that they still have a rather high number per million, uh, and of course they haven't done anything to to stop it. But on the other hand, uh, they have an entirely different society. You got to realize why is it Wisconsin hasn't had a single case, uh, a single death in the last couple of days in Wisconsin. It's because it's Wisconsin. Why are they still dying in New York? Because it's New York. You know, there's a big difference to these things, and countries are the same way. Sweden is probably really similar to Wisconsin in terms of density and right. movement and you everything. Have to understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For so the numbers to make sense. Yeah. Well, well, by the way, quickly, quickly, what what are the numbers on Brazil? Brazil. Uh, is, yeah, uh, so I wanted to per say one, one Brazil's million. number two. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, we know that. Charlene, we said that earlier. Do that get me yelled at? I'm Brazil, sorry. Brazil, um, okay. <laughs> Brazil has 332,382 cases. Uh, they have, um, uh, let's see, total cases per one million, 1,565. How many per one? Uh, one, one That's how many times as high? How many per one, million? What cases? Yeah. One thousand five hundred and sixty-five. Hmm. Is that three times as high as uh, the U.S.? The uh, the U.S. was. Um, uh, oh no 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 no. The the U.S. is four thousand nine hundred and seventy-three. Oh, We're way, still four worse than that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But Brazil is on its way up. It's just not like starting. It's and Sao Paulo, right? Sao uh, Paulo. Uh, Sao Paulo. Yeah, that, that have a, a much greater population than even some of our cities, like New York, don't they? They're all packed in they're like... All, well, you have the favelas, yeah. which are, are slums, basically, and they are huge. I mean, they're gigantic. They, are, they have the largest uh, poor population, I think, in the Western Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm looking at um, First, Brazil's India. logarithmic curve right now, mm -hmm. and it's not as flat as the other countries I've been looking at. It's still going up, so yeah. that's the problem. Yeah. It's still an upward. Right. Uh, quickly, Jason? Yeah, the thing you have to keep in mind is they're testing also. They're not doing the amount of testing that we are, so there's a lot more people who are getting uh, infected, and their mass graves that they're actually digging up, you should look at them compared to what we are. That. Yeah, and don't, don't, don't forget, don't forget what Trump said that we wouldn't be having this problem if we weren't doing all that testing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Anyway. Love that. That's right. Do the more cases you discover. That's mm. correct. No, but that's yeah. one right. way of putting it. Yeah. Oh, we wouldn't know it if we were that's testing. What, that's the logical way of saying it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen. This has been uh, this has been fun <laughs> tonight. Bliss, huh? You know. I'm a little out of it tonight. You guys have been handling it just fine for me. Charlene, thank you. Brian, as always, we love having you here. Uh, the g best thing about the coronavirus is it brought you out. Uh, Charlie, great to see you again. Phil, Jeff, Josh, uh, Kevin, uh, Rob, Ray, and Jason. Boy, I got through all of them without even stumbling. Everybody, why don't you <laughs> give yourself a big wave goodbye to the audience. And then they'll all wave back at you like I will as well. Okay, there goes the uh, the uh, citizen panel for tonight. They're, some of them are going to go over and hang out with uh, um, uh, Jack Bishop next on the intersection. Meanwhile, uh, you uh, you should stay right where you are and listen to it because it's a it's a good little show. Yes, let me make sure I got out of everything here. Did I? Okay, good. All right, let me get rid of my Skype, and uh, let me get rid of you, okay? Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we'll be back again on Tuesday, 
along about 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. In the meantime, as always, as I tell you, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay? Bye-bye, everybody.